thanksgiving makes the way for fresh anointing we are anointed we can rely on the old anointing we need fresh anointing daily the oil must be renewed daily a new oil must be poured out on you you can't be depending on the pastor to come and pray off for you pray on you lay hands on you take the anointing take the anointing no that will never happen it may happen in the church during the mass prayer so i i believe in the mass prayer is very powerful because god will descend and he will anoint the people but in your personal life you have to regenerate the oil how can you do that by thanking god when you keep on thanking god the oil within you will regenerate and it will be overflowing now what overflows becomes the blessing for others what has filled you is yours that's your portion but whatever is running over your cup it goes to your neighbor so through you people will be blessed that's what we call as overflowing anointing what can keep you overflowing okay it is the thanksgiving when you keep thanking god you will begin to overflow that's what it means thanksgiving makes the way for the fresh anointing david was the greatest king in the history there is a city called david city in jerusalem why because he is the only king who never ceased thanking god in his life he never thank god for the good things even the bad things as well whatever evil that fall befall him he still thank god that's why he is a warrior a worshipper of god and he is more to praise us he keeps on praising god day and night for everything when he is sad he prays when he is happy he prays he keep thanking god he find every difficulties as an opportunity to thank god things are negative is not favoring still he will thank god so unique if you read the book of psalms there are 150 chapters daily if you can read one chapter at least within 5 months you can finish it off you'll understand how this man has lived his life thanking god all the time he when he was on the throne he thank god when he was in the cave he thank god there's never a place he grieve upon the lord whatever situation that god put him in he sees that as a blessing that he can learn something he can come closer to god now this is what is lacking within us today we also encounter and go through the same similar situation that david went through but we fail to thank god we fail to thank god we don't want to thank god in fact what we do we grumble we complain lord why have you done this to me you have given my neighbor something better than me you don't look at me why i have to go through this darkness how long lord instead of thanking what we do we curse god look at job on the day when he lost everything he didn't curse god instead he blessed the name of the lord he said praise be the name of the lord he has given he has taken so when he has when he offered the thanksgiving to god he was actually sowing the seed for double portion because you can give god a thanksgiving to god when you are okay when everything is perfect but when you offer it at a time which is too difficult for you that's what god sees the most so when god put you into test when god put you into the darkness when god allow you to go to the trials you must be very careful to utter the word from your mouth it must be a thanksgiving word it must be a grateful word it must be a praising words if you ever curse or if you ever grumble that will block all the good things that god has for you that's why i'm telling you thanking god is very important the more you thank god the more anointed you will be see why thanksgiving brings down the anointing praises god didn't say i'm enthroned in the midst of the hills or on the high hills or in the mountain no he said i'm enthroned in the praises of israel now praises the very place where praises are being birthed out is heart when your heart is a heart that can praise god for any situation that's where god is saying the word says he's enthroned as a king when the king is in our means there is power there is glory that's where david know the secret to keep god with him 
if you see in the bible lord why do you hide your face what have i done against you and if he feels it's too long he begin to praise god over the things that god has done for him he keep himself active with the lord and this is where the anointing will come hallelujah because you are anointed by god god's hand sustains you he never drops you to the ground he never drops you in your life when there is darkness trials you are never forsaken god's hand is sustaining you because you are an anointed of god means you are in the hand of the lord things seems to be dangering you it seems to be that god has forsaken you it seems to be that god is against you no because you are god's anointed his hand is sustaining you surely my arm will strengthen him the lord says i will strengthen those whom i have anointed you see lord i cannot i cannot go on i cannot do this myself but my hands will strengthen you me that you are a parent your children are walking they are unable to walk properly almost about to fall what would you do you take hold of them you stand in them to walk if you being an earthly parent can see can think this much for your children imagine about a heavenly father and then it says the enemy will not get the better of him the wicked will not oppress him it doesn't he say that enemy will never rise it will arise he will come near you but he can never crush you there are many people when if you are anointed by god you will have enemies they can be physically they can be spiritually there are some people opposing you against you contradicting to you working things against you they dig a pit for you they want to completely bury you off all these while they have been doing this none of them were able to prevail you why you are anointed by god god did not allow the wicked the enemies to overcome you to trample you there are people who went to the sorceries see some witchcraft spells cast charms anything on you did it manage to destroy you has it successfully destroyed you nothing nothing there are some people in a relative who cursed you for nothing said you will not live a proper life you will die too soon you will meet accident does it happen do you think it all never happened because of you no because you are anointed anointing is not going to bring you to heaven that's for sure but anointing sustains you on this earth to live a righteous life means we need the power you have a car but you don't have the fuel it will never move you can't reach the destiny you can't reach your destiny you want to go to the place you want to walk into the building you don't need a car anymore you want to go to the heaven in the heaven you don't need the anointing anymore but to reach to the path to reach the destiny you need the anointing if you drive a car you need a, you need the oil you need the fuel that's what i'm telling you on this journey there will be many rising against you many will come against you in your working place your colleagues in your school your your your, your schoolmates your relative all of them will rise but let me tell you something do not be afraid of them you are an anointed of god in your business some people will rise because they don't want you to do better than them all this will happen but nothing can destroy you because you're anointed anyone who knows what is anointing and how anointed they are they will never be afraid of the devil they will never be afraid of the devil they know who they are what kind of power is upon them keep thanking him the devil can never come near the anointed one hallelujah 